Hello, my name is Benson from Hartman.com. And today we are going to learn on how to solve the problem of USB debugging in Android Studio. So basically that's a very small problem and we are going to see how we can solve that. You might have realized that the USB debugging is not working just because uh, uh, ADB drivers or Google USB drivers is not available. So I'm going to show you how we are going to solve that problem. So first things first. So you can see my browser. Uh, yeah. Alright. So first thing first, let's come to to Android Studio. Click File. Then you can click Settings. Click Settings. And then come to Android SDK. And in the Android SDK, come to SDK Tools. In the SDK Tools, make sure you tick the Google USB driver. Uh, down, uh, click Apply to download it and press OK. So I've already downloaded my Google USB driver. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to make sure that my USB debugging is connected through my phone. So how am I going to do that? I'm just going to connect my USB with my phone right now. So as you can see, my Infinix Hot 6 has been connected with my computer. And if you open the driver, you know, the device manager, you can see after connecting my USB and clicking on media transfer file, that is uh, that is clicking on MTP do not put it to changing let it be MTP then you can see that the ADB interface is not available so how are we going to achieve to achieve this so we are just going to say update driver then browse uh, browse from my computer browse for software on a computer let me from the whatever then press next and click have a disk so that you can browse for the drivers so another thing that you must do if you are following this story is that you must come here to view come here to options and come here to view you must make sure that you know this pc is open or my computer is open it's open you can open it by windows e like that so come here to view and come here to options and change this is on windows 8 then come here to view and make sure you show hidden files folders and drivers so that you can be able to access where we've installed our google usb driver so we can access that from our device manager because we want to install that driver uh you know we're coming to my to computer on my computer then you can come to see users uh, my computer username after that you can come to local android sdk and you can come to extras google and you can see we have our usb driver here uh, just click on that and then you open it uh, from opening it just come here install from the disk and click ok you can see we have all this we have android adb interface so that's all we need we don't need any other interface so let's just come here and see next and you can see installing this device driver is not recommended because we do so okay say yes it's okay let's now install our driver install okay you can see our you know windows successfully updated your driver and you can close now you can see our adb interface has been installed and from there i can close my you know i can close my my device manager and try now to access my device and you can see my device has been detected and that's all you can do to detect your device i think we have solved that problem for now all i need is to access that from is to allow that from my computer always allow this from my computer and i can say okay and it's okay and let me wait for it to load yeah and you can see infinix mobility limited infinix like that has been accepted now you can be able to run android applications 
direct from one phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to check the full video tutorial. Uh, uh, remember to check the this tutorial on my website hexmy.com. I'm going to share the link to this tutorial in the description so that you can follow it, so that you can proceed, so that you can see all the instructions on how to go about that. Thank you very much for watching. Let's meet on my website hexmy.com for those tutorials. Thank you.